and welcome back. So in this video, I am talking about the dot product and how we define it, and I'll just go through an example of finding the dot product, but then talk more about its properties and things we can do with it in my other videos. So the dot product is a vector operation, so an operation on vectors, that gives us information about the angle and direction for a pair of vectors. So the dot product works on two vectors. We have two things we use and we do this operation on them. So if we have a vector a, let's say it's a1, a2, a3, all the way up to a n, and a vector b, b1 through b n. So we're just using n dimensional vectors here. Then we can define the dot product. So it looks like a dot b kind of like a multiplication sign, but it's just a dot. And we write it as the product of the first component, a1, b1, plus the product of the second components, a2, b2, plus the product of the third components, a3, b3, etc., all the way up to an, bn. So this definition gives us the dot product of the vector a and the vector b. So just a few notes before we move on and try an example. So the dot product is also called the scalar product or the inner product. So these are just other names that you might hear for the dot product. And then the other thing to know is that when we do the dot product, the result of the dot product is a number. It's a constant or a scalar. So when we do the dot product of two vectors, we're not getting another vector, we're getting some value. And that value is gonna give us some information about the pair of vectors we're looking at, the A and the B. So I defined this in N dimensions, but let's talk about what it looks like in two and three dimensions, since those are the spaces we're most frequently working in. So if we have the vector A is equal to x1, y1, and the vector B is x2, y2, then the dot product of A and B is equal to x1, x2, plus y1, y2. So that's x1 times x2 plus y1 times y2. So you just multiply the x components and add it to the product of the y components. So three dimensions look similar. If we have a vector a, that's x1, y1, z1, and b is x2, y2, z2, then their dot product looks like x1 times x2 plus y1 times y2 plus z1 times z2. So it's just the product of each of the components added together. All right, so let's try an example of computing some dot products so you can see what it looks like. So let's find the dot product of u and v. So u dot v, if the vector u is equal to three negative two, and the vector v is equal to negative 1, 5. So you can pause now and try this if you'd like. I'm just going to go through it though because it's actually a pretty quick computation. So when we do u dot v, I'm going to write out what u is. It's 3, negative 2, and I'm going to dot it with negative 1, 5. And I'll put in some colors just to help us out distinguishing things. So we take the x components, 3 times negative 1, and we add it to the y components, negative 2 times 5. Now we just have to simplify. So I'm getting negative 3 minus 10, and that gives us negative 13. So our dot product of u and v here is negative 13. We'll talk more about what this information gives us, like what this negative 13 means in another video, but for now we're just working on computing it. So that was two dimensions. Let's do a three dimensional example. Let's find the dot product of two, zero, negative one with seven, 10, three. So again, you can pause if you'd like, but I'm just gonna go through it. We do the X components multiplied together. So that's two times seven plus the Y components multiplied together, zero times 10 and the Z components, negative one times three. Then I just simplify this, so I'm getting 14 plus 0 minus 3 
and putting that together, I get 11 as my dot product. And it's as simple as that. So we'll talk a lot more about different things you can do with the dot product, but the actual computation isn't too difficult. That's it for this video. Thanks so much for watching, and I will talk to you in the next one.